All right, Brad, moving it on, we have the Rams, according to Bavada, minus three at Atlanta. Boy, the Rams have really fallen off mm-hmm. a bit, hey? Yeah. They've, Todd uh, Gurley, by the way, is still questionable. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so sick of that guy. I have had enough of Ty Gurley. <laughs> turd Gurley? God, yeah, turd Gurley? Turd, turd, yeah, Turd Gurley. <laughs> this whole injury bit, man, it's just getting old, and it's so tired, and it's always like nobody ever really knows why. I don't know. I'm just so over it. Anyways, they have really fallen off. I don't know. It's like uh, we anointed, what's his name, McVay as the yeah, the, 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 the Belichick and coming, right? The the error in head coaching. Yeah, and uh, now where's where's that gone? Yeah, uh, I know. They look terrible at people home. People still terrible. aren't people still aren't really criticized. I think, as far as I know, we're the only ones who kind of started, you know, saying, "Hey, maybe this, maybe maybe the the rest of the league's caught up to McVeigh." And I, I I still have faith that he'll adjust, but nobody's really still banging on McVeigh. They're still kind of making excuses with the offensive line and. And all that, which I know that's a problem, but other teams have poor offensive line play. Right. You know, right. Well, what what's their record? Uh, now they're three and three. All right. With three well, losses I mean, in a row. Dude, it is so difficult to win in this league. It just is, man. And and sometimes talent is not enough. And it's just it's tough. Yeah. And that's why when everybody was stroking Cleveland, yeah, all yes. summer. I, it infuriated me, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. you know what? You finally got some talent. Great. Mm-hmm. Well, at least now you can be at the dance, you know? Yeah, right. And I'm not, right? And that's cool. But it took you 20 years to just do that. So I'm not saying Cleveland can't go 7-9 and nine or 8-8, eight and eight, right? Mm-hmm. Or 9-7. and seven, But everyone was talking about them like they were going to go 14-2. and two. Yeah, You know. know how many stacked Packer rosters I have seen that didn't even sniff an NFC championship. You yeah, know? No. and and not, Redskins, the Redskins are notorious for for that bringing a bunch of talent and they can't gel. You know, or they can't be led by yeah. their coach or whatever the case is. That's like step one. Yeah, get some players, and now here you go. Let's see what you got. Um, but back to the Rams. I, you know, I don't think it's time to panic because it's not like they're. It's not like they're going to go 5-11. and 11. If they do that, then, hey, something's wrong. But, yeah. you know, Philly's 500. Dallas has talent. They're 500. It, it's not easy. Yeah, it's not. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're right. And um, and I'm not, I'm not panicking on the Rams either. I think I, I said that last week as well. I think really what I take away from that Rams 49ers game more than anything is the 49ers are ready to, to be – like back to you know the the old 49ers that you and I grew up with Brad like Boy, really, they look tough yeah man they're, they're, they're they're great and it, it comes down man their defensive line and their offensive line they control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball and it's hard to beat teams that can do that i mean that's really that's really what the patriots have done in their whole dynasty period yes they have tom brady and that's that's obviously an integral part but bill belichick man they always control the line of scrimmage in the passing game brady gets the ball out quick they always have good run blocking and they always do well in the uh the defensive side of the ball as well and if you can do those two things and you have a quarterback that can deliver passes you're gonna win a yep. lot of games now the rams were doing that they can't do it now for some reason jared goff looks awful um, Can I ask you something? Yeah. Have you seen that commercial with Jared Goff on ESPN? No, I have not. I have no idea what it means. I'm like, I'm, you know how the, how Sports Center, you know, they make these funny commercials with the athletes. Yeah, sure. Like they mix the the sports guy with the the office. You yeah, know? yeah. I do. I don't understand it. I saw it yesterday, and it, it didn't make me laugh. I was like really confused about it. I'll send it to you. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Chris Conley, the guy who did the Uncle Rico segment, maybe he directed. Oh my God! Maybe he is just garbage. They're garbage. 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 Hot dumpster. Freaking garbage. Ugh. Dumpster vomit. Used to be the best thing, man. Waking up every day before school, putting on Sports Center. Now, now look at and us. Now look at us. Hey, um, so did you pick the Rams or the Falcons there? I'm sorry. What was the line? Uh, minus three. Let's say it again. The spread three. line. And are they at home? Rams are on the road. LA nah, minus like, three at Atlanta. I like the Rams. Let's go Rams. You like on the Rams? I'm split. My analytics are with you. This is another case where um, where I, I kind of lean towards Atlanta. I think this is a close Rams victory. I said the same thing last week against San Francisco. Minus three for a team. Uh, th- here's the good news is if the Rams' offense is really a problem, we're going to know because Atlanta's defense is probably the worst in the league, man. They're, they they can't stop a cold. I mean, they're 
they they can't stop anything. They're awful. I feel like Biff Tannen. You can't catch a cold. It's not you can't stop a cold. Make like a tree and leave. Or make uh-huh, like a tree and get uh-huh. out of here. Get out no, of here. but but um, Atlanta. I think this is a close game. Atlanta at home. I think they'll score. Matt Ryan actually quietly after starting like a like a chump. He's actually been doing better and better. Um, statistically speaking, he's been taking care of the football a little bit more. I like Atlanta to cover but lose the game. But we'll see, man. The Rams could be three and four. Wouldn't shock me the way this mm-hmm. team's playing. Uh, okay, bro. Oh, um, fantasy wise, I think pretty much you're going to start every Ram you can at this point. I think you start uh, golf. I think that you start Gurley if he plays, if not Malcolm Brown, um, and all three receivers. And I even would give you the uh, Gerald Everett tight end play. Um, Atlanta is kind of similar. I like Ryan. Um, I actually like Devonta Freeman this week as well for the third week in a row. Um, and I like Sanu. I'm sorry. I like uh, Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley, not Sanu. And then Austin Hooper, I like every week in this offense.